Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jason Carr. You're watching Old Car Auto Guy and today we're finally getting some wheels on bubbles. So it is October 25th and we woke up this morning to this. So what does that mean? That means Time lap ice scraping, maybe? Cue the music. So, right now it is lunchtime on Thursday, and we are heading over to Callus to pick up my wheel spacers. So I'm going to bring you guys along for the ride. Well, seeing how we're over here, we can't pass up an opportunity to grab some Mickey D's. Welcome to McDonald's. May I help you? Can I get a quarter pounder with cheese meal with a Coke and no pickles, please? I have a quarter cheese meal, no pickle with a Coke, 777, please. So you heard the lady say 777 US dollars. Let's see how much it's going to be in Canadian. I can tell you it'd be 11 10 Canadian. $11 and 10 cents stack of coins. So for those of you who are watching on the American side, I just ordered a quarter pound of a cheese meal. $7.77 American. And with the Canadian money exchange, $11.10. So I don't eat at McDonald's in Canada very often. So if you're from Canada and that's what you would order, what does it cost you? Does a quarter pounder with cheese meal in Canada cost 11 bucks? So we've got lunch, back to Canada we go. So guys, just a little update on the shop truck. Today is paint day. And as you can tell, all the paint supplies is out here on the counter. I just figured maybe we would go in and take a quick peek and see what's going on. So we'll try and keep you updated as color gets added. Right now, all he's doing is going over a lot of the primered areas that needed some work and get kind of a first coat on that. And then he can go back and start laying it out in a lot more even coats after the fact. So stay tuned. She's definitely blue again. So I think they're laying the clear coat on the truck now. So let's go take a look. fills the air in there a lot worse than the blue paint does that should be all dry tomorrow we'll start uh, peeling all the uh, paper and stuff off of it and tape and we'll be able to get a better look at uh, what she looks like so uh, we'll do that so on this cool October morning we've got the truck out we've got it unmasked and the paint job turned out actually pretty good the only difference is it's a little bit darker than the original paint let me show you so from this angle here, you probably can't tell too bad. But when we come across here, you can see the difference between the box and the cab. So I think the only fix to that is to take the time to paint the doors and fender on this side. The, uh, the bodywork and the rest of the truck came out really good. Oh. 
So guys, in an effort to satisfy mine and my dad's OCD with the color change, the slight color variance on the Ford F-150, it's paint day again. So we're gonna get the front fender and the two doors painted now to match the rest of the truck. <laughs> Let's hope. Let's hope. <laughs> if it doesn't work this time, if it, if it doesn't work this time, we'll just blame CarQuest. They mix the paint for us. So I'm not quite sure where we left off with these wheel spacers, but we do have the right ones now. And I have confirmed that my wheels fit on these spacers. So the spacer issue is fixed. The problem that we now have is the black wheels that we had the truck tires on don't fit the wheel spacer. So now I think what we're gonna what we've got to do in order to make these tires, these 31 inch tires fit on the Kia is we're gonna have to order some black steel rims. So just some winter rims. They're gonna cost me about 50 bucks a piece. Well, that's a heck of a lot cheaper than buying four brand new snow tires when I've got these ones here that will already work. So the rest of this video is just gonna be getting the original wheels on the Kia with the spacers. So we'll get the camera set up and we'll show you how to do one. The rest are gonna be the same. So because we can't retorque these after the fact, we are using some red Loctite to uh, seal these things on here. There's not much of that left at all, is there? No, not much left. Let it run and hang upside down. So I have the wheel spacers on with the original tires that came on this vehicle when I got it. And I must admit, I never thought that inch and a half space would make such a difference, even with the tires that are there. But I've got myself a brand new machine. I can't wait to get the tires on it now. So some of you might be looking at this and saying, oh, I didn't see he did anything. But as you can see there, there, there and there the wheel spacers are on so let's get a view from the rear and those tires are right about the edge of the fender maybe sticking out just a hair and now from the front I'm digging it. Guys, let me know in the comment section below what you think of these uh, wheel spacers on here and whether or not I should try and go with the bigger tires or simply keep these ones on. Granite winter's coming. There's not a lot of tread on there. As you can see from this video right here, there's a pretty good reason for that too. There you have it. Bubbles has wheel spacers. I've ordered four winter steel wheels. They will be here tomorrow. We'll take the 17 inch truck tires, the 265 70 17s, the 31 inches. We're gonna try it on that. Hopefully it works, because if it does, we'll be done as far as that goes. But just pulling it out of the garage, I, uh, I do have a little bit of rubbing, more so than I did before I put the spacers on. So might have to dig out the Sawzall, do a little trimming. Well, there you have it, guys. We've got the wheel spacers on bubbles and the shop truck is now getting a matching paint job. So we get the shop truck back in the paint booth. Hopefully by tomorrow we'll have those paint colors matched and we'll get the wheels for bubbles and get those 17 inch tires on so that we can get that put to bed and hopefully get the inner fenders trimmed out as well. So guys, as I always say, Thanks for watching. I really appreciate all the comments, all the thumbs up, and all your support. So as we get ready for our next video, guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirrors. I love you. God bless. We will see you in the next upload.